So what's the difference? Without the Brian's account, you get these three felt tip pens. Get the felt tip pens. At Yorkshire get Bank, we don't give much away. What we offer is no nonsense banking. I just want to open an account. Yorkshire Bank. Everything you need from a bank and nothing you don't need. You may be looking for a car that's small and practical. But you still want a car that feels luxurious. Well, now you've found it. Because while the Clio is certainly small, it's perfectly formed. The Renault Clio. So get busy with the fizzy. Create a fizzy flavor with water from the tap. Press the magic button and shake it like that. Soda stream, so get busy with the fizzy. Cola, lemonade, cherry, and orange. It's soda stream, so get busy with the fizzy. Make up to one liter of your favorite fizzy flavor. Soda stream, get busy with the fizzy. The secret of our new velvet finish foundation is silk for the softest matte finish. Look beautiful with Rimmel Silk's velvet finish foundation. Have you looked in the mirror recently? Starting tomorrow, collect the mirror's three-part DIY guide. Half a million Texas prizes to be won, plus everything you need to know to make your house beautiful. Surprised? You will be. You'll be surprised when you look in the mirror. Meh. Opal fruit ice, real fruit juice, frozen around a soft fruit center. Made to refresh you, made to make your mouth water. I never noticed how strange German customs can be. They asked if I had anything to declare. Only my uh, undying love for genuine German lager. Shredded wheat is 100% whole wheat. It's just basic bran fiber. It's a good source of carbohydrates. And yet, there's no added salt or sugar. That's what the big boys eat. Shredded wheat and shredded wheat bite size. Labradors are very, very hearty eaters. And they need a good hearty meal. Top breeder Glenda Crook recommends pedigree chum select cuts. It looks really appetizing. It's full of big meaty chunks covered in a lovely gravy, which is vitamin enriched. They really get the teeth into it and they wolf it down. It looks good, it smells good, and they just love it. They're full of energy and they look really great on it. I think it's the best meaty food for my dog. Pedigree chum select cuts. Top breeders recommend it. There's probably a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. We're in training for the mountain rescue team. Oh, mountain rescue. Is that what we're calling it now? But an unforeseen incident tests all three doctors' ability to cope with a crisis, training or not. You go on. I hold your hands. Any idea where? Can you show us on the map? We're going on up. Thanks a lot, Karush. They need the four-wheel drive. You're ill. Not half as ill as I'll be if we lose this child. Peak practice, Monday at 9 on ITV. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Bringing people together with BT. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Scylla Black.
Welcome to another surprise surprise. Well, we've got a lot of surprises for lots of people sitting here in our audience tonight, including one for a certain lady that only you at home can see at this very moment. So keep watching. But first, we're going to take a little leaf out of Lloyd Grossman's book. <laughs> a peek through somebody's keyhole. Now, who'd live in this house like this? Well, surprise, surprise, you would, wouldn't you, Sandra King? Because it's your house we're talking about. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Sandra. Come down here and join me, please. Get out that seat. Get down here, Sandra. Because that's my spec, you see. That's my spec, Sandra. <laughs> well, welcome to Surprise, Surprise. Well, that was your house that we saw there. Let's have another look at it. Have, here's another photograph. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, I like, oh, I like that big hunk. Who is that big hunk there hanging on your wall? Jeff. <laughs> it's Jeff. Jeff who? Jeff. Jeff Capes. Is that right? You're mad about Jeff Capes, aren't you? Yes. Now, what has Jeff Capes got that, you know, no other man's got for you? Fantastic body. He's Muscles. absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic body and he's absolutely gorgeous. Well, you know, your daughter Erin told me all about you, you see. <laughs> and she says that, you know, you love Jeff Capes because he's got the muscles and he's gorgeous, but you, you particularly like him in a tuxedo. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> That's why he's hanging on your wall in the kitchen, so he definitely brightens up your day. Oh, yes. yes. Would it be safe to say, Xander, that you'd love to be swept off your feet by Jeff Capes? Yes, I would. You would. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise, that moment has arrived. Because here he is, complete with the tuxedo, is your idol, Jeff Capes. Come in, Jeff. Come and sweep her off her feet. Oh. Down now. <laughs> Have you ever felt like a goose break? <laughs> there you did, you swept her off her feet. How do you feel? As, as the earth moved for you. Yes. <laughs> it feels all lovely. Lovely. And there's the great man himself. Now mm -hmm. that you're here, Jeff. I mean, are you going to do a bit of lifting weights for us tonight? Oh, no, no. A woman lift. You're going to do a woman's oh, lift? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, but I noticed you've got two chairs here, so you need a, another person here, don't you? Well, surprise, surprise, sir. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 you don't want to meet, you don't want to see me on the... No. <laughs> no, there's an awful lot of people out there, men and women alike out there, Jeff. They would love you to lift them up. Thanks Lots sure. out there. In fact, I shall go and choose one. See you in a minute, Sandra. <laughs> yes, who shall I pick? Scylla's <laughs> coming amongst you. <laughs> I've been never mind about the women tonight. We could even have a fella like you, sweetheart. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, oh, sorry about that. A what? woman lift. Oh. <laughs> you want a woman to lift? Not wearing a what skirt. What a shame, because I quite like your face. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? Richard. Richard. <laughs> Would you like our Jeff to lift you up? Uh, I'm easy. You're easy? <laughs> <laughs> not that easy, no, not that no. easy. Keep yourself to yourself tonight, because he did say a woman, and you're very much a man, Richard. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show. Women, women, we're talking women here. We're talking women here. <laughs> surprise, surprise! <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Lorna. Lorna. Now, there's our big Jeff down there. How do you fancy being lifted up by him? Oh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, Lana! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't say no. There you go. Thank you. Sit down, man. Wow. Away. 
Right, or anal. This is going to be hopefully easy. Just hold it like you would do on a swing in the park, OK, when I lift hold it up. Hold what? Hang on. Hold what? <coughs> like you would hold on a the, swing. The hand. The handles. Oh, the handles, yeah. yes. Fine, OK. All right. Please. So when I pick this up, I just want you to... That's it. Fine. Here All right, go. Sandra. Okay. And you're going to lift both the girls up? Yep. Oh, I think this deserves a little bit of a drum roll, Ray. Can we have a drum roll, please? Okay. Take your time, Jeff. Yeah, go on, Jeff. Yes. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 well done. Give us Thank a look. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, oh, Sandra. I can see what you can see in our Jeff here. Do you fancy okay. another sweep? <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for, Come Jeff? On, sweep her off her feet. Go. See you later, Sandra. Thank you very much, Jeff Chase, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, Lorna, was that a nice surprise oh, for you? Was beautiful. That was super. Now, Lorna, I think one good turn deserves another. I really do. I really do. Now, I know an awful lot about you. Now, 33 years ago, you weren't born in this country for a start. You were born in Jamaica. And 33 years ago... <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you've got your lovely daughter, Antoinette. You owe it all to her. Now, she tells me that you left Jamaica when you were just seven years of age. You left your mum and all your family you came to live here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And ever since then, you've been trying to get back to see all your family in Jamaica. Now, do you think you ever will? Don't know. You don't know? Don't know. Well, surprise, surprise, I do know. Because surprise, surprise, I've got return tickets just for you oh. right in this envelope here to go and visit your mum and your 11 brothers in Jamaica and you're going to take your daughter who's just 16 with you. All right, Lorna? There you go. It's all yours, sweetheart. It's all yours. All right. There's the ticket. All right? I love my job, I really do. Well, you know, the other week I had to go to hospital. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't like that, but he could do. I called in to the Westmoreland General Hospital up there in Cumbria to give a few surprises to some of the staff. And this is what happened. This week I've come all the way up to Cumbria to pay a surprise visit to Westmoreland General Hospital. And our first surprise takes place in the kitchen. So, see you there. Mario! Mar Mario! Hello, everyone! Oh, yeah. Mar Mario! Surprise, surprise! What should you be here, Mario? Catering assistant. You are. Oh, I love your uniform, by the way. I love that. Mind you, you don't always wear this uniform, do you? No. In your well, spare time. In your spare time. Is it true that you wear the white suit, the black tie, and the shoes, mm. and you sing Elvis songs? <laughs> How long have you been doing Elvis? Oh, 25 years. 25 years? Well, surprise, surprise, you're going to do Elvis for us right here today. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's going to be terrific. Well, you've sung him. You've done him for 25 years. I do believe you have raised money, lots of money for charity. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, what are you waiting for? Because everybody at the hospital tells me they call you the Kendall Elvis. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, it's been known, yeah. It has been known. Well, I tell you what, we've, we've got the dancers. Mm. We've got the costume. We've got a lovely suit for you. I think you're going to look lovely in gold. Gold? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've even brought our own stage with us. All we need is the singer and the song. How are you fixed for doing a bit of jailhouse rock? Oh, well, I'll think about you. Get rocking, Mario. I've got to go to Ward 3 now, all right? Yep. See you later. Sister, Sister Chapman! Sister Chapman! Surprise, surprise! Oh <laughs> surprise, surprise, Sister Chapman! 
I know an awful lot about you, sister. I really do. Dear me. I do. They tell me, everybody tells me that you run a very tight ship here in this world. Is that right? Yes. And they also tell me that... Where's everybody gone? Oh, we've we've (laughs) hidden them away. They also tell... Everybody tells me that you're a very caring person as well. Oh, I hope so. Gosh. Now, what is this machine? Tell me about this machine that you've been looking for. I mean, you've written off to several charities without no luck. But you want this machine to make, you know, lives a bit more easy, especially for the patients on hot summer days. An ice machine, an ice making machine, yes. Yes, you've been looking for one of them? I have indeed, yes. We've all been looking for one of them. What's that yes. noise? That kids, that's not an ice machine. <laughs> not a, no. <laughs> it's the air conditioning. It's something. Something's gone suddenly wrong up there, yeah. So you're looking for this ice machine? Sure are, yeah. Well, I think that's just what the doctor ordered, because surprise, surprise, we've got you an ice machine. Yes, we have, sweetheart. And here to deliver it. Do you ever watch TV's Casualty? Uh, Yes. Oh, we've got that super Dr. Rob to deliver it to you. <laughs> and here he is coming in now. Hello. Here he is. Hello. Oh, hello. Jason super. Riddington. Say hello oh, to Jason. Thanks very much. Oh. How do you do? Well, I'm back. Surprise, thanks surprise. And casualty, I'd like to give you this wonderful ice-making machine. Now, you're not a relation of Dr. Julian Chapman, are you? <laughs> no. I wish I was. <laughs> I think I can give it to you then. Congratulations. Thanks very much indeed, Where The staff have been absolutely delighted and the patients will really get an improved service with this. That's absolutely superb. We're well, absolutely it... delighted. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Well, we'll be going back to the hospital to see Mario's Elvis performance a bit later on. But meanwhile, there's a lady here in our audience who's just as wild in her own way. Now, this lady runs a guest house up there in York. Yes, surprise, surprise. It's you I'm talking about, Iris Jordan. Iris, where are you, love? Iris, you're way up there at the back. Iris Jordan. Iris, come down and join me, please. Pardon, you'll kill them. Have a sit down there, not just yet, sweetheart. Now, Iris, I mean, you are a bit of a raver, I hear. Oh, I try to be. (laughs) You try to be a raver, and you a grandmother, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. (laughs) Now, you run this lovely guest house, I've heard, up in York, but you like to give them a bit of a turn, don't you? Yeah, my heart's going your heart's going 50 to the dust. <laughs> well, it's good for your heart, this. A lovely surprise is good for the heart. Now, is it true that when you, you know, your lovely guests turn up at this guest house in York, that you do a turn for them? The karaoke goes on. Yes. And you get up and you go mental when you put this leopard skin... <laughs> you put this leopard skin mini skirt on. <laughs> and you put the wig on. And you strut your stuff, and you become Tina Turner. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what does everybody say when you do that? Well, they just clap and ask for more. Oh, they do? (laughs) Well, surprise, surprise, we're going to clap and ask for more, because I've pinched you. (laughs) I have got the dress here, I've got your wig. we need is you, Iris, to get ready, donned in that wig and in that miniskirt. Now, let's have a look at your legs. Beautiful! <laughs> yes, and the tights are clean and well paid. Oh, yeah. Right, all we want you to do is to go off now, get changed into the mini, into the wig, and we shall see you later as Tina Turner. Go on, Grandma. <laughs> off you go. We shall all look forward to that. Well, now, here's something that you might be able to help us with. We're looking for a man by the name of Alex Morrison, who was originally from Bogsley, Londonderry, in Northern Ireland. He was last seen by his sister 39 years ago, although a family friend called William Lindsay bumped into him about five years ago in Kirkcaldy in Scotland. Now, both his sister Sally Morrison and his son Alex are desperate to see him. So, please... If you are watching out there, Alex, get in touch. You can phone us on 071-222-8070.
Now, you know, one of the things I'm not very good at is writing letters. Are you? Do you write letters a lot out there? No. no. I never know what to say. It doesn't bother some people, though. In fact, there's a lady with us tonight who you at home saw earlier. Now, this lady has been writing to her friend for over 60 years. And surprise, surprise, her name is Edith Harding. Where are you, Edith? Edith, where are you, sweetheart? Come down and join Scylla on the sofa. Tell me all about it, Chuck. Here she is. <laughs> Sit yourself down. Who told you? Well, I shall all will be revealed. Now, Edith, you have been writing letters to a certain person for over 60 years. Now, who is that certain person? A pen friend in New Zealand. A pen friend. What's her name? Mary. Mary Flett. Yes. <laughs> now, how many times have you met Mary Flett? Never. You've, you've been writing to her for 60 years. Well, how did you start writing to her? Her, I saw her address in a magazine that asked for pen friends. Yes. So both of you, are, but you must have been, you won't mind me saying, you are 80 years young now. So you were 20 when you started writing. So you've written all about your marriages and your families and everything throughout That's the right. ages. Yeah. And in all those 60 years, you've never, ever met. Yeah. Well, surprise, surprise, Edith. You're going to meet your special pen friend okay. tonight because here she is. We've flown her all the way over from New Zealand. Okay. Here she is. You've been writing to her 60 years. It's Mary, Mary Fleck. Come in, Mary. Thank you. 